So our next sneak is called interactive vectorization. What does that mean to you, Jordan? Interactive vectoriza yes. vectorization? Yes. It's, we could put it in with, with me and Rihanna on the, <laughs> the, I, um, uh, You know, let's just leave it to the experts and uh, welcome Holger to the stage. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. Hey, Holger. Yes. <laughs> welcome. Hi there. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> So I heard there are some designers in the audience. Is that true? OK, nice. All right, so maybe you can relate. So imagine uh, it being Friday afternoon. You kind of want to go home, but there's this um, task that you still have to complete. There's this poster, uh, the tagline being vacations that don't break the bank. You're mostly done, but there's this hero element that's kind of still missing. And so you kind of, you're looking for inspiration, and it's your lucky day because you look around your office and what do you find but this guy. So uh, he fits perfectly. It's kind of bank, piggy bank, and he even wears a cool Hawaiian shirt. So you think, uh, I, can, I can add him here. So you could, of course, just uh, go ahead and kind of manually trace him out and stuff, but that's going to take you, I don't know, at least half an hour, an hour, and you don't have that time. Wouldn't it be cool if you could take a picture of him and just vectorize them automatically. And as some of you may know, there is apps out there that do that kind of thing for you. In fact, Adobe has an app uh, called uh, Adobe Capture, which does something very similar. So here, I've gone ahead, taken a picture of this little piggy. <laughs> and um, you can vectorize it, and you can change the background. So this is kind of what it would look like. Um, the problem is, uh, here, there's a lot of edges missing. And even if I adjust the slider, um, we get something that kind of looks cool, but it's not, it's not the right style. It would take me a lot of manual work to clean that up. Well, maybe I should just go back to Illustrator. Some of you may know that there is something called Image Trace. And I've played around with the settings uh, quite a bit to get this result, which is close, but uh, it's not quite what I want. I mean, there's a lot of detail that you can see I would need to clean up before I can actually use this. There's a lot of details uh, that are not what I want. So this is where interactive vectorization comes in. Um, it starts off with a similar concept where you adjust a single slider to add or remove detail. Um, and it's already a pretty clean look, um, but it's not, maybe it's not perfect. And the, the thing is, if I, if I add too much detail here, that's probably not what I want. So let's just bring that back to something reasonable as a starting point. Um, and the truth is, a single global slider or a couple of global settings are not going to get you the result that you want. So you will have to do a little bit of manual work, but might as well have that be something uh, that knows the image underneath and can really help you out. So for example, if I wanted to add this arm here, instead of having to carefully trace around it, I just do a little stroke, and there it is. And I do a little stroke here, and there it is. And maybe I need to add the snout there. And maybe I need to add a little bit more on the top there. So, uh, for some regions, maybe it doesn't do quite the right result. That's fine. I can always go in and kind of fix it up a little bit, maybe here. Um, and you can see these edits are really uh, very quick and convenient. And let's just add that little guy in there. OK, cool. So um, there are some edges now that I need to remove. And again, in instead of selecting and deleting, I just cross it out. I don't like this one. I don't like this one. And maybe just to uh, uh, kind of change this up here a little bit, the design. So this already looks pretty good. Then I'm just going to use my last tool to smooth out any of the kind of jaggies that are in there and uh, maybe smooth this out a little bit more. And so within just a couple of interactions, I'm done. I'm going to give this a little descriptive name. Oop. Helps if I could spell. There we go. Piggy. There we go. It's going to save this out in a couple of different formats uh, so that I can then take the filled version of this, import it, uh, kill the background, um, maybe you know, equalize some of the colors here. Um, and this already looks pretty good. So let's just select this guy, copy him over there into my vacation poster. Of course, I'm going to have to adjust the size slightly here. There we go. Drop it in there. And so within a couple of minutes, I have a vector format that is totally um, constructed in, in shapes that are easy to edit. You can change the colors, can change the style, et cetera. And I hope it's going to help you guys out. Thank you.
Yeah. Ho.